Hey family, Kevin here with Woodwork Family and woodworkfamily.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install cabinet hardware using a cabinet hardware jig. Before we begin, I would like to mention that I received this jig free from a Amazon store because they would like me to review it. And just to let you know, I will give it a completely unbiased review. Just because I got it for free does not mean that I'm going to give them any special treatment. That out of the way, I'd like to mention that using a cabinet hardware jig is by far the easiest method to get the same exact placement of each handle every time. So let's take a look at the cabinet hardware jig. This cabinet hardware jig came from an Amazon store called Sugarlary. It's spelled S-U-G-E-L-A-R-Y. And it comes in this case, which I like because that keeps it easy to, it makes it easy to keep it all together and keep it in your workshop just out of the way when you're not using it, but easy to find all the components when you need it. So let's take a look at what's inside. It's got a drill bit. It has these, these pieces here. So these are all the parts that come with it. And what I would like to show is how to set it up. As you can see, it has measurements on the face of both the, this metal piece and this plastic piece. And that helps you be able to tell exactly where you want these, um, the holes to be drilled. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to loosen all of these. I will take one of them off. Let's slide this on. And as you can see, the ruler starts at zero here in the middle. So I'm going to put this line right here so that we can tell exactly what measurements we want. And if you ever need to, you can take some of these off, put, use fewer of them, use more of them. It's really up to you. And then this base piece right here just slides on this way. You tighten up these thumb screws. We're just gonna get it loosely fitting right now. And that's pretty much set up. So the next step is going to be to tell if you want where you want the hole placement. And to determine that, uh, the way you do that is you, you, you get your hardware and you take a look at the actual cabinet door where you want it. So let's do that next. So now we're going to take a look at the tools that I'm using. Uh, for starters, we are obviously going to have the knobs. In this application, I'll be using knobs, but this jig will work for a handle as well if you wanted to use a handle because it has, it looks like four holes here. I'm not sure why there's extra holes, but a handle would only need two holes. It's better to have too much than not enough, apparently. Um, the drill bit is the size that we need for the 832nd screws. We need the screws for the handle or for the knobs. Um, we've got a drill to pop the holes through and then a tape measure to tell exactly where the placement is of these knobs. So let's take a look at how to adjust the jig. Whenever we begin the installation of any cabinet hardware like knobs or handles, um, we want to visualize where it's going to sit. And a few factors for that would be, um, are you going to be able to put it, would you prefer it to be in the center? Some people like it a little higher, but centered in between this line here, this piece, um, and the shaker door. So some would like it up here. Some would like it down here. One of the reasons why they would want it a little higher 
is because this cabinet has a face frame and there's a chance that if you put it down lower it will hit but as you can also see this cabinet has a bumper so this bumper is going to be thick enough to where the screw head will not hit the door what I usually like doing is I put the handle centered this way and then centered this way I like I think it looks a lot better down here than it does up here that's just my preference if I can get away with it down here I will but some people like it a little bit higher and I'll do the same thing if it's a handle I'll, I'll put one of the holes centered right here and then the other hole will be up here I just like it a little lower that's my personal preference either way works as long as you can open the cabinet either way will work the way you measure for this let's zoom in a little what we're gonna do here is we're gonna take a look at the distance between this the width of this style here um, we have two and a quarter inches so the halfway point would be one and one eighth we're just dividing the two in half and we're dividing the quarter in half and putting the adding those two together so we would have one and one eighth that actually looks pretty centered to me so it looks like that's right then we go the same way this way it's the same two and a quarter so one and one eighth so here is the measurement we want we only need one of the holes but we've got four of them so what I think I'm going to do is take at least one more of these off we want to keep this one because it's got the piece that actually holds it to the bottom so this is important for us to keep on there this one can come off and then we'll put this one back on whoops Let's see if we can get it on okay so now we'll just loosely tighten this up we've got this piece here and it looks like the first issue that I'm seeing I'm not sure if you can see it very well but the first issue that I'm seeing is it's hard to read the numbers. There is a line right here and that's supposed to gauge where you fall on the measurement. So now we're gonna adjust the, the tool, the jig, to get where we want the placement of our knobs. But just looking at it, the thickness of these pieces is going to limit where we can put the actual knobs and what I'm trying to say about that is if you were to put this piece lined up in the center you're limited to where I'll try to show you this in a different way so because this piece is what hangs on to the bottom of the cabinet door um, I'm going to line that up with the zero mark right here and so the bottom of this is lined up and that means that this is approximately half an inch from here so getting a measurement it's a little more than half an inch so it's about five eighths of an inch to the center of this hole um, which means that the next hole is one and three quarters of an inch a little more than one and three quarters if we touch these two together and if we remember I want the placement of it to go up one and one eighth so this hole will not work and this hole will not work for one and one eighth the shortest measurement we can use is 
a little more than half an inch, so five-eighths of an inch up from the bottom of the cabinet door. And then the next shortest we can do is the one and three-quarter mark. So going back to the drawing board, what we're going <clears> to <throat> decide to do at this point is the other method of centering it between the two lines, which is okay. I don't mind the way that looks. Um, that'll work as well. But it's a little unfortunate that this jig does not allow me to put the placement where I originally intended and originally wanted, which I could see as a liability in the future if there is ever a person who is, has their heart set on that location this jig won't work. You'll have to find another way. We noticed that the thickness of this is two and a quarter inches. So if we if we were to look at, here, let's turn this light on. Hopefully that adjusts. If we were to look at the inches side, two and a quarter is right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this down to two and a quarter there. And it's the same here. So we said one and one eighth is how far we want it. So because the hole is right here and we're going this way, the way we adjust to one and one eighth, that's going to be the second line from the one inch mark. Which is right there. Let's get it right on the line. Now that we have the jig adjusted, what I would like to do is just drill a small hole, not all the way through on the back side, just enough to make a mark so that we can measure, make sure it's lined up. The first time we do it, we want to make sure that it's in alignment. I'd say that's good. And then coming up, yeah, two and a quarter. By one and one eighth, that's perfect. So now, now we will, oops, here. Still getting used to it. Okay, we're holding this up. Let's take a look. Test that one. Perfect. That's a good size hole. I'm just hand tightening it right now. I'll come back through with a screwdriver. But I think that looks good. So let's do it again. So before we had it. We were holding it this way for this door, so now we just flip it over. We will seat it, make sure it's nice and flush. It is bumping against the handle, but that's okay, because I will hold the door out from the handle. There's that one. That looks perfect. All right, let's bring it over to this side. Oops. So all I'm doing is I'm holding the drill perfectly uh, perpendicular to the door. I go part way in, I pull it back out to get some of the shavings out of the way. Just 
like so. That was quick and easy. I'm just going to hand tighten them first. Sometimes you can get them tight enough. I usually don't use a drill to tighten the handle, the knobs. Really doesn't need to be that tight. They will lock on pretty well. And there they are. Hey folks, and there we have the cabinet handle installation process using this cabinet hardware jig by Sugarlary. Um, this was a interesting product to use. It took a little thought to figure it out, but it really wasn't that hard. It was really simple. Some of the things that I really like about it is that it has these measurements on both directions. I like that you can center it to line it up with the base of the cabinet. It's long enough to get most drawers. Um, I do have a drawer in my kitchen that is, let's show you that this drawer is a bit too long for this jig, so it won't work here, but that's okay because that's just one drawer. I'd be able to do that by hand, freehanding it. Um, otherwise it does work on all the other drawers in my kitchen and I want to say that some of the things I don't like is the thickness of these spacer locations for the holes. Um, these are going to make it really difficult to, uh, it, what, it didn't allow me to put the hole exactly where I wanted it on the cabinet, but I did have another alternative. I think it looks nice. If you benefited from watching this video, please give it a thumbs up below. And for more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. A question of the day. I'd like to ask you if you prefer to use cabinet hardware jigs or do you like to do it by hand? If you've done it either way, please let me know down below. I look forward to hearing from you and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.